today we're going to be taking a look at the Kaidang K130 Alpha Transforming Egg Drone, sent to me courtesy of Lytake.com. So I wish I had better things to say about the K130 egg flying egg transforming egg drone here, but I really just was not a huge fan of this guy. It is an app controlled novelty quad. And basically that's the, the draw to this is the novelty. And this is the cool part. It's shaped like an egg and you know, it's sort of unsuspecting at first here and you fold all the arms down, it's in the exact shape of an egg, about the same size of an egg, and then you push this button here, and the arms come out with the props on them. And that's cool, and I feel like that's where the coolness of this quad kind of stops, because it does not fly so well. It's mostly meant to be an indoor flyer, I think, but it's really hard to fly indoors. I've tried flying this in my house, and my house is rather small, so maybe if you have a bigger house, you might have better luck with it, but it's kind of hard to control. It doesn't really hover all that great. And it's just, it just doesn't fly well. I don't know, I don't know how else to say it. It doesn't fly all that well. Maybe I do have the, just the very basic version that comes with literally just the quadcopter and the charging cable and a full set of spare props. And there is a version out there that comes with a transmitter so maybe you might have better luck with the version with the transmitter. I'm not a huge fan of app-controlled quadcopters as it is, but I have flown a few that are definitely flyable and more flyable than this. So let's just get into the flight review and I'll let you watch that and then I'll come back with some final thoughts. All right, today we're gonna to be out here with the Alpha Transforming Egg Drone, and this was made by Kai Deng and sent to me courtesy of lietake.com. So this one is like a smaller version of that one that I think it was at CES or something like that. It had the flying egg with the 4K camera. So this is kind of like the toy version of that. So it comes in this tiny little box here. And if we get right into it, not pretty nice packaging. Whoops, don't want to litter here. Let me get that. We got a train coming through somewhere. Excuse the uh, whistle noises. So inside the box, all you're gonna have is your instructions, and it's fairly straightforward with this little guy. It come, when it comes, it's gonna have this little like rubber band thing around it to kind of hold the arms in place so they don't pop out, I suppose. So there you have your little egg, flying egg, transforming egg drone. Little pinhole camera here, and underneath here is your on-off button that also doubles as a button you push it once just like that and all the arms are going to come out with the props on them you hold it down again and it's going to turn itself on so i'm going to put it down for one sec and just show you the remainder of the box nice little foam cut out it stores it in there nice and you just have this one little box and the only thing in here is your usb charging cable it comes with I'm not sure the name of this connector but it's your basic Nano, a lot of the nano quads use that connector, and you get a full set of spare props. So, not too much. This is the smartphone version. There's also a version, according to the manual, that actually comes with a transmitter. So, but today we're going to be flying it with the Galaxy S5 here. So, why don't we fire this one up? So, we're gonna hold this button down until we get some lights. And then we're gonna set it down on a level surface, fairly level, hopefully. I'm actually gonna put it right here. And let's get into the app. The app for this call is called Pantoma FPV. There's also QR codes on the back of the box, make it easy to get. So we're gonna, it should connect automatically since I've already connected to this, but let me just make sure. Go into our Wi-Fi settings. Yep, we are connected. So let's get into the app here. And I've used this app on the, let me turn the camera that way. So I think this actually recalibrates it maybe. 
let me push that button or maybe I'm not sure something about horizontal alignment I'm not sure if that tells you doesn't seem to change as I'm moving it I don't know I've had problems with this one not wanting to fly we're well, not wanting to hover basically it kind of drifts a little bit so I've been looking for a way to recalibrate the gyros and I haven't been able to find it so if anyone knows that hit me up in the comments or something like that so inside the app you got your still pi pictures your video I'm actually gonna stop the video I started it there you can also fly this with the G sensor with this third button over not a huge fan of those what's this one do that's just gonna be like a viewing thing then these are your high low rates I suppose only two rates on this I think that's what that's saying I'm gonna put it in that high rate and then this one is your return to home button it's just basically gonna fly backwards up more along the headless mode bearing and headless mode is your next one over and then you can turn your LEDs on and off and 3d view I'm not sure you'd have to have the transmitter to do that you could put the your smartphone in your goggles or something like that and this camera wor or this app works with a bunch of different quads so in some other quads you can tilt the camera up and down but you can't do that in this one so anyway you got your auto takeoff and your auto land here and if you get in a situation where you want to land it you know hit the auto hit the takeoff button and that'll land it quick for you hopefully so let's see what we can do here with the kaidang flying egg drone there's a sentence i never thought i'd really say so let's go up and you hit the takeoff button it's just going to basically fire up your props there i don't know if you can see them spinning and then you gotta physically use your sticks to take it off on your app and most of you will know i'm not a huge fan of flying app controlled quads but this one seems to work okay and there you go you got a flying egg a little bit difficult to control it with the app see if we can bring it back towards us yaw it I mean it works okay it's definitely a novelty type of quad it's not gonna appeal to most of your RC enthusiasts it is somewhat difficult to get it <laughs> to control it it's just kind of flying around here let's bring it back looks like we got quite a bit of jello in the video but most of these app controlled quads that's par for the course let's bring it back here yeah it looks like a lot of jello in the uh in the video let's see what happens when we let go it seems to want to go back but there is a little bit of a wind going that way so it's probably the wind pushing it i mean up in the up in the sky it's a bird it's a plane it's an egg it's the flying egg yeah get quite a bit of jello in this one and i'm not going to test the control range here either uh-oh wind's pushing it uh-oh so i kind of landed it there because i got a little scared that the uh we're gonna go into the house over here picked up a little bit of wind there are we flashing here we might be is that the end of our battery pretty short battery life if it was let's give it one more one more try here see what happens we are still recording so it's been recording for 238 right now so that was an extremely short flight time if that was the flight time yeah I mean we got flashing lights inside of there so let's let's power it down actually let me stop my video stop the video and let's just see if we can start this up again So 
so we get a message that our Wi-Fi is disconnected. And that's because I turned it off. Now it's connected again. So let's go back into the app. And I'm not sure whether or not we're gonna... So it seems like it turns red when it goes in the higher, the higher rate. Yeah, the wind is definitely pushing it now. See if we can bring it back, go up a little. Oop, we didn't want to yaw it. So let's see if we can bring it over here. Come here, Mr. Egg. Flying egg drone. I mean, it is pretty cool watching it float around. So let's give it a little hover test. Hands off there, it's getting blown around a little bit here. Let's bring it towards me. Not the easiest to fly with this app, but I think that's gonna depend a little bit on your, how much practice you put in and things of that nature. Now we got a wind coming, really seems to be pushing it. See if we can bring it back towards me. And let's let it hover. Oh, wind's pushing it back a little bit. This is mostly gonna be an indoor flyer for you. It doesn't have super powerful motors and it's super light, so any sort of wind is just gonna push this thing around. But I gotta be honest with you, right now it's not flying half bad. It has altitude hold and all that. Let's see if I can put my hand near it if that, and it doesn't seem to be pushing it up or anything. A little bit difficult to keep orientation with this. You're gonna wanna look for the pinhole camera. So like right now I can see the camera and I know which way I'm facing. And fairly responsive with the app. You just gotta make sure you got a good tactile hold with the uh, sticks. Like I feel like I lose, see it's happening again here where, eh, I'm gonna land it. It's over the fence now, let me land it. Where are you going, Mr. Egg? You're not landing when you're flying down the street. I don't even know where it went. I ended up shutting off my hat cam, giving up all hope that I was ever gonna find the K130 Alpha transforming egg drone here. But I ended up finding it way down the street. It had uh, kind of tipped over and it was upside down like this when I found it. And I was lucky to find it, I believe, because it just kind of flew away on me. Not sure if that was a legit fly away or if the battery was so low that it, the wind was just taking it or a combination of the two. But uh, I was pretty glad I found it because I hate losing quads. So it was kind of cool to find it. But I was able to take it back to my house, give it a few more flights, or at least attempted a few more flights inside my house. And I didn't have any luck. It seems to have a drift to it. And there is, I, I showed in the flight review that button that is supposed to be, it's supposed to level the gyros for you if you're, if you're having any sort of drift. So it'll level out the accelerometer. And inside, you can see it much better that the LEDs flash inside the egg drone here, but uh, I couldn't really see it in the bright sunlight. So back inside the house, I was able to see that that button does actually work and that button, the LEDs will flash inside the drone here and let you know that it is recalibrated, but it doesn't seem to really help me at all. It seems like this one kind of just wants to drift backwards and you know, it just doesn't fly real great. It does not hover. Maybe mine is a rotten egg or a lemon, but you know, I, I've seen a few other reviews and, and most of them don't fly all that great. I did end up breaking this prop on one of those indoor flights and the crash is at the end there. And I do have the spare props, but I don't think I'm gonna bother with changing them because I don't think I'm gonna fly this one all that much. And Really, I don't want to spend a whole lot more time on this one, so I would advise you to steer clear of the K130 here. It does look cool. It has kind of a cool little trick where the arms come out 
and when it's in the air and it's flying it does actually look pretty cool but really hard to control i'm not sure the app is the best way to fly this one it doesn't when you're got your thumbs on the sticks inside the app it's just uh you know when you're when you're trying to control it it doesn't seem like it has the same feel as some of the like the jjrc h37 when i was flying that I'm not a huge fan of the app controlled ones as you guys know but the h37 actually flow, flew pretty good with the app and i didn't seem to have any of those problems with that particular one where my thumbs just felt like i'd have to like kind of re-grip the sticks every time when i was trying to hold them down on my on my smart device there so i would uh steer clear of the k130 here unless you really, really are into flying eggs or really, really into novelty drones. Or maybe if you wanted to get the version that comes with the actual transmitter, I think that would be much easier to control. Maybe you'd have a much better flight experience. So I guess that's all I'm gonna have for you guys with the K130 Alpha Transforming Egg Drone from Kai Deng. I did have the uh, K 80 I believe it was from Kai Dang and I really like that one so I don't know just uh I guess they kind of laid an egg with this one if you will <laughs> anyway guys that's all for today I'm not even going to leave you with any flight video because I don't really have any of this one and don't really want to fly it again not sure if I was going to fly it outside if I'd get it back so there you go hope to see you in the next video guys